What's up, Patriots? Constitution Vet coming to you from another beautiful day on another awesome week down here in Texas. Just finished my work week. I'm about to go home, enjoy some time with the wife. Patriots. Monday is not just any normal holiday. Monday is Memorial Day. Now, Memorial Day, people kind of don't understand. Memorial Day is not the day to show fireworks or cook barbecue. I mean, you could do that. That's your right. But Memorial Day is more of a somber one, especially for veterans or anyone who has lost someone that they care about in service to their country, to their community. For me personally, I've known quite a few people who... I knew when I was in the service who were no longer here. Whether it was in the line of fire or, sadly, taking their own life. Memorial Day is the day to honor their memory, their name, their actions, their legacy. And so, like I do every year, this video is going to be short, clear, concise, but this will serve as a reminder to all of us the true purpose of this upcoming Monday. So, in light of that, I'll now read for you a poem that many of you have heard before, but it's one that really just sticks with me. And it, it gets me right here in the fields every single time. So, let's do this. The Final Inspection the soldier stood and faced God, which must always come to pass. He had hoped his shoes were shining, just as bright as his brass. Step forward, you soldier. How shall I deal with you? Have you always turned the other cheek? To my church have you been true. The soldier squared his shoulders and said, No, Lord, I guess I ain't. Because those of us who carry guns can't always be a saint. I've had to work most Sundays, and at times my talk was tough. And sometimes I've been violent because the world is awfully rough. But Lord, I never took a penny that wasn't mine to keep. And though I worked a lot of overtime when the bills just got too steep. And I never passed a cry for help, though at times I shook with fear. And sometimes, God forgive me, I've wept unmanly tears. I know I don't deserve a place among the people here. They never wanted me around, except to calm their fears. If you have a place for me, Lord, it needn't be so grand. I never expected or had too much. But if you don't, I'll understand. There is silence all around the throne, where the saints had often trod, as the soldier waited quietly for the judgment of his God. Step forward now, you soldier. You've borne your burdens well. Walk peacefully on heaven's streets. You've done your time in hell. That's hard. <laughs> That's hard to get through. That's hard to say. That's hard to utter without breaking down. That is the purpose of Memorial Day. That right there. So, if you know of anyone who has given the ultimate sacrifice in service to their country, to their community, go out. Have a drink, get a beer for them, and celebrate them. Don't drink that beer. Get one for you, get a drink for your loved one, whoever else is with you. But go out, get a table, celebrate their life, celebrate who they were. Get them that beer and leave that beer untouched. Leave it alone. 
They're not gone. They're right there next to you. And it's not gu goodbye forever. It's simply, I'll see you later. So, on that note, Patriots, <laughs> have a wonderful day. Have a happy memorial. Have a happy Memorial Day. Never surrender. Never submit. This is Constance Vet signing out. Later.